वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर ऑनलाइन डिक्टेशन बैच ऑन अप्रैल ट्वेंटी टू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन देन यू कैन डायरेक्ट मैसेज मी ऑन व्हाट्सएप और टेलीग्राम गेट रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट सर आई नाउ कम टू द मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस बिल विच इज द हर्ट ऑफ द बिल द कोर ऑफ द बिल दिस इज अबाउट द रेट ऑफ टैक्स आई विल प्रेजेंटली रीड पोर्सन्स फ्रॉम द चीफ इकोनॉमिक एडवाइजर्स रिपोर्ट द हर्ट ऑफ दिस बिल इज वॉट द टैक्स विल बी इट इज नॉट अ मैटर बिटवीन द यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर एंड द स्टेट फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स देयर इज अ थर्ड लाइन टू द ट्राइंगल दैट इज द पीपल ऑफ दिस कंट्री एवरी यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर वॉन्ट्स टू मैक्सिमाइज रेवेन्यूज एवरी स्टेट फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर इज अंडर प्रेसर टू मैक्सिमाइज रेवेन्यूज देयर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग विथ दैट बट प्लीज रिमेंबर वी आर डीलिंग विथ एन इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स एन इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स बाई डेफिनेशन इज अ रेग्रेसिव टैक्स एनी इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स फॉल्स इक्वली ऑन द रिच एंड पुअर If you buy a soft drink bottle, whether a rich buys it or a poor man buys it, he pays the same excise duty on the soft drink bottle. That is why world over indirect taxes being regressive in nature. The trend is to keep. them as low as possible i am sure many members have read the chief economic advisor's report if not i would urge you to please read it the cover tells the story in high income countries the average gst rate is 16.8 percent in emerging market economies like india the average is 14.1 percent so world over over 190 countries have one form or the other of gst it is between 14.1 percent and 16.8 percent the idea is being an indirect tax it should be kept as low as possible the taxes that fall more on the rich and less on the poor are income tax and corporate tax those are the taxes consistent with other goals which the country may have those are the taxes which must be of principal sources of revenue in fact for many many years in this country there is a complete tax distortion the collection from indirect taxes is larger than the collection from direct taxes i think we crossed the line some time in the year 2006 or 2007 maybe in 2008 we crossed the line when the collection from direct taxes overtook the collection from indirect taxes and that remain so even today in our country in fact the collection from direct taxes should far outweigh the collection from indirect taxes so what do we do we need to keep the taxes low at the same time we must protect the 
existing revenues of the union government and the state government so how do we go about it we go about it by discovering what is called a revenue neutral rate that is not the actual rate of tax that is simply a step in deciding the slab rates it is not so technical in fact it can be explained in fairly simple terms you derive an r and r and then from that r and r you work out of the slab rates today please remember over 80% of excise duties are between 12 and 14% over 56% of vat is in the range of about 13 14% so on an average 70% of the goods have a tax incidence of about 13 14% but there are huge tax losses because of an inefficient collection machinery and a large number of goods escape taxes they are neither captured by the union nor captured by the states etc etc the gst is supposed to be a more efficient tax if the union captures it it cannot escape state tax if the state captures it it cannot escape union tax therefore it is more efficient and because it is non cascading more people will comply with it because it is a self audit method a chain of transactions it is very difficult to escape the tax all these are argued everywhere and i do not wish to repeat those arguments now the chief economic advisor of the government working with experts including state government representatives arrived at an r n r of 15 to 15.5 and then suggested that the standard rate should be 18 the congress party did not pluck 18 from the air this 18 came out of your report the standard rate must be 18 you can have then a lower rate less than 18 and you can have a demerit rate of more than 18 but the standard rate the rate that will apply to most groups and most services must be 18 and the chief economic advisor has argued very cogently that it alone will make it non inflationary acceptable to the public and an efficient way of taxing without tax evasion now when we say cap the tax rate what are we saying we are saying that this rate should not be changed by the whim of the executive today excise duties are changed by the whim of the executive 3 days ago 
they reduced the price of petrol and diesel. Three days later, they increased. Stop. Thank you.